Hey guys, so today I'm back. I'm going to show you um, a few of my Bonitas that I have on my acrylic rack um, and then two random polishes that I also have there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and get started with the Bonitas. Okay, so this Bonita, it's these in the weird little packages that you can get from Rite Aid for like $2.49. I believe let's straighten this out here this one is called forget me not and it's this beautiful blue with some pink and purple and some blue shimmer in it there it is on the brush and here we are on the swatch um, I'm gonna start over here Okay, so here is one coat of Forget-Me-Not. Okay. Next we have... Uh, 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 uh. This one is called You're My Lobster. And this is a red jelly base with multiple sized red metallic glitters. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we are on the brush. And here is one coat of You're My Lobster on the swatch. And, you know, I put these on my acrylic shells that I got. I think I got them from... Well, this one I don't even know where I got from. Did I get it from TJ Maxx? Um, I put them on my desk thinking... You know, I try to switch them out with the seasons and stuff and what I'm kind of feeling and that I want to wear. I never wear them. So, you know, I pick from my, my big closet rather than, I don't know. Next one up is called Tin Man's Brew. And this is a scattered hollow um, with like an icy blue frosty base and some darker blue hexes in there. There's even some gold shards. Okay, so there is that on. And like I've said before in a few of my videos, these drugstore polishes, don't pass them up. Hang on, guys. Don't pass them up. Pick them up look at them you know i mean really look at them in the light because you guys are really passing up on some good polishes if you don't do that um you know i used to just walk past and be like eh. but then the thing that made me the polish that made me actually pick up and look at everything now. Let me see if I have it here quick. And I know I've mentioned it before. Um, and I'll say it again. It's this one right here. And I kind of wish I could find it again so I can get another one because it does take a few coats to become opaque. But it's this bad boy right here. Now just sitting on the shelf, standing like this. You know, you're not going to notice anything, but once you pick it up and you look at it in the light, you can see that there is something just hidden and mystery in there. And I mean, there it is on the swatch. I don't have top coat on any of these swatches, but I mean, those shimmers, they stand out. And I mean, if I didn't pick this, because I walked past this quite a few times, and then the one day I was just like, fuck it, I want to buy polish. I need to buy a nail polish. And I just started going through all of them and picking them up and rotating them and looking at them in the light. And when I came to this one and picked it up, I was like, holy shit. Same thing with Record Breaker. Just stand in there. You're not going to notice that there's shimmer in there. So I saw that it was a new color. I picked it up 
And I'm like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. So guys, pick these polishes up, look at them physically, like just, you know, again, with this next one, I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is called Do the Flamingo. Just sitting there, you're not going to realize that this is holographic. This is a scattered holographic in a maroon berry color. And it's gorgeous, guys. Like, how can you, you know, pick your polishes up? If you take one word of advice from me in your life, pick these polishes up and look at them. So here is the brush of Do the Flamingo. I mean, honestly, you really won't regret it. I mean, you'll find some beautiful gems out there. Okay, so here is Do the Flamingo. Some of them, when you get them home and you put them on, yeah, they might not be, mm, you know, because the shimmer might not show or it just might not be as nice as it is in the bottle. Now, I have a OPI that I bought a while ago. I haven't worn it. I got it at TJ Maxx. I don't know if Ow. Just banged my knee. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. But it is Susie Skis in the Pyrenees. This has, yeah, you could see. There's like little flecks in there of like a teal glitter or something. I almost thought it was like a mistake. I mean, you can't see them all that great, but you can can make them out every now and then they're there I highly doubt I'm going to see any of them on the nail and what's going to happen is that's going to end up in a D stash but I bought it anyway because I thought it's a nice addition to the polish and if it does stand out then you know that's terrific if it doesn't well you know whatever I didn't pay full price so I don't care all that much here is Mo Money and again, this is going to be, um, this one's going to have a little bit of a less scattered hollow, but it's got a blue shimmer in there and it also has some gold. This is gorgeous. I've worn this one and I have the, the swatch to show you. There it is on the brush. And here is the live swatch. And these Bonitas too. They have good formulas. So far I haven't had, sorry, it's not staying in focus. I haven't had one of these Bonitas that have had a crop formula. So, okay, next up is kind of a random, because I have only one. Just shaking it up here, because it's been sitting. I've never worn it. Again, this is a ridiculous, this is an indie, but it's a ridiculous price. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me do the indie last. Let me go with this one. This is a random Wet n' Wild, and I really only bought it for the name. So, it's in this ugly new bottle. And this is dope. <laughs> and I love The Simpsons. My husband loves The Simpsons. So, I bought this just for the name. And that's all it is. It's a, it's a Homer Simpson yellow. Never worn it, but I have it there. Um, I probably will attempt to wear it, but I'm not a fan of oranges or yellows. Um, actually, the orange that I have on my nails right now, it's Sinful Colors Anchors Away. And this will have been in my D-stash <laughs> because I just don't. I topped it off with Sally Hansen's Pink Dream to try to, I don't like, it's that mac and cheese orange. I don't like the mac and cheese orange <laughs> um so yeah okay so here is this is from hits special lita whatever and this is whatever it is this is called apollo and it is a blue holographic i don't remember how much i paid for this I bought it on a haul from like Live Love Polish or somewhere. But here is one coat of Apollo. 
it's a little sheer on the first coat okay but that is one coat of Apollo this polish right here is another Franken of mine if you guys have watched on Instagram back in December there was a destination duo of blue eye girl lacquer and cupcake polish cupcake polish came out with a black hollow with um, flakies in it and I try can't find it got in on the boat with it wanting it too late so I took one of my cheaper black hollows that I had and I used some of my I love nail polish flakies and other flakies that I've had and um, I created my own and this one here is actually the final product so that is that okay so I'm gonna pause and come back with the second coats and I will be right back okay guys so we are back with second coats okay so here is forget me not here is you're my lobster which surprisingly to me and I'll come back to it hopefully it'll be dry is a textured polish <laughs> here is tin man's brew Here is Do the Flamingo. It has like a little purple shift to it. Here is Mo Money. And also here is Mo Money. Two coats completely dry on a swatch. Okay. And here is Wet n Wild's Dough. Um, it's a little bit brighter on the camera here, but it's a very nice bright sunshine yellow So I'm actually kind of hoping that it'll look okay on my nails um, Even if it doesn't I'm not gonna destash it. So <laughs> I just hope it looks okay since I am keeping it regardless and here is hits Apollo Okay, so that is it for this acrylic shelf and this shelf kind of, I don't know if I can show you or not. It looks like, well, it's a three tier acrylic shelf. And then it has this little doohickey over here, which is supposed to hold little tools and stuff. But I put my little wet and wild over there and they all fit very nicely. So that is it for that one. I do have another, another one to show you guys. Um, so I will be back with those. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.